Bonjour and welcome to this new video. So today it's gonna be a little special because, well, I had planned a video showing you how I make my watercolors, but this one is taking so long. I wanted to do this one first because it's way funnier. If you don't know me, I'm Isabelle Arnay, I'm a French illustrator and I love watercolor. Why is it a little special? Well, because we're gonna review these uh, that were sent to me by Chalcola. Uh, it is watercolor brush pen and I'm quite excited to try it because I've never tried watercolor brush pen. So they sent me this 28 color pack and inside there was so the brush pens, a lot of colors, <laughs> really really a lot of colors, 28 is I think a lot and there was also this little watercolor pad we'll try it um, a little later but first I want to try all the colors on this random piece of I think it's Canson Monval it probably is because it's what I have around uh, it's my favorite paper we're gonna swatch these pens on on this paper first and then we're gonna do a watercolor on the pad the brush pens came with two other empty brushes that you fill here. You can just take it like this and fill it up with water. So I have done it with this one already and the two, these two empty brush pens come with a large size and a large size and a smaller size. Here we are and I'm gonna show you also how they look like inside. So I'm really excited to try it also because the colors are very bright and I'm so I'm curious to see how it will end up. So this has a brush tip. I'm also very curious of that, of how it will look. So let's start swatching them. <laughs> I've noticed one thing is uh, when you use it right from the brush pen it can be a little dry you see I'm having little difficulties but I'm thinking maybe you have to dip it a little into water to to start it maybe I should have just started by dipping it into water but I wanted to have the color right from uh, right from the brush pen also what I really like right now it's you can have really nice watery effect you can see on this one it, it was really nice on this one as well yeah so um there is much to explore honestly uh, in terms of palettes i think there is maybe a little bit too much of oranges and yellow there is a good amount of greens they are really nice i really like this one too which is a more muted green here the three here three oranges i would have kept maybe this one but the three of them, maybe one would be enough. I want to try to see what I can do with the fluorescent colors. I am also thinking that it is a lot of colors and for a start, uh, for the first painting, I may be using only a few of them and doing a limited palette because I might be lost into so much colors. I'm not very used to this kind of brush pen, so I won't be able to compare it to any other uh, that is on the market right now. But I think it will allow for a lot of fun moments and nice painting. Fluorescent colors are here, 
here and this one and it's it's hard to show on camera but still nice i think there is a very very good panel of colors i'm thinking it will be great for lettering i'm really really bad at that but it will be great when i want to to improve because i really want to improve on that we're gonna move on to the actual painting and see how it performs I'm also a bit wary that it might be difficult to do big areas, but I'm gonna try it differently. Like maybe dipping the pen into water first and then use it, because I didn't do that here. I just used it straight from the pen. As you can see, I started by taking one of the pages from the blog Shalkola sent to me. I wanted to rip it off one page, I don't think it was meant for it, but it's what I wanted. I don't like working directly on blocks, so I just ripped it off. So I started my illustration on there after my little sketch in my sketchbook. Well, I didn't like that paper at all. Uh, first, I was a little set back by the color of the paper itself. It's somehow gray, grayish paper. It looks like recycled paper and I think it is. It's it's all fine with me, but, but I don't think it's paper meant for watercolor. I mean, when I first started doing the ink with my pen, diffusion and the little hairy things <laughs> all around were quite terrible. And when I started doing watercolor on it, the gray color of the paper really, really didn't work for me. So I decided to take one of my Consomonval sheet of paper that I have and start the illustration again. And I think I was right because the brush pens performed a lot better on the Consomonval anyway. The brush pen reacted like watercolor. As I was expecting, pens were a little too small for big areas like the sky and the underlying layers that I used on the painting. I often like to do big underlayer of the color like for example in the mountain in the background i like to add blue to show the atmospheric perspective and then i add more vivid colors like some kind of oranges and cobalt blue which uh, worked very well here i think for the big areas it was uh, it was quite difficult and i had a hard time and i don't think i will be using the pens for this kind of use in the future where i had fun though is inking or the parts that needed inking, like doing details in the mountain with rocks, trees, things like that. I was, it was really nice to ink Fluffy that was flying on his broom also. <laughs> I think it, it worked quite well. It really confirmed to me that this brush pen will be very, very nice for lettering and less for doing big paintings. I'm also thinking to use them for inking pieces like for example if i don't want a black outline for something these will be just perfect i think it's nice uh, brush pens if you know how to use them in the sense that you are aware of what you are able to do with them it was a very great experience and i'm very happy chalcola sent me those if i was in sh in a shop and if i had to buy them i don't think i would because um I'm really really used to my half pants and the freedom you have in using brush of different size. Maybe I will do another review in the future after I've used them a lot for inking and lettering. I'm thinking I will be very very happy to be using them honestly. I, I'm pretty sure I will. Well, I wouldn't have bought so much pants, that's for sure, because it's a lot. I'm sorry. I know some people have tons of supplies, but it's not my use. I really work on minimal minimal supplies and minimal colors too. I like to mix my colors. Anyway, thank you for watching. Tell me in the comments if you have ever used watercolor brush pens. What are your thoughts? If the video helped you, I am I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm always very happy to share and and this was a great opportunity, so thank you, thank you for watching the video. If you feel like it, follow me and subscribe and like and all the things that goes with it. Yeah, see you next time and have nice holidays.